Greetings, I'm Reverend Brian Eckhart. Earlier this year, I invited you to participate in the 951 prayer movement. This involved praying every Friday at 9.51 a.m. or p.m. for our denomination. We're praying for God to be glorified. We're praying for the outpouring of His Holy Spirit upon us, that we would have the boldness to share the gospel, and that the lost would hear the gospel and be saved. In the past couple of months, I've had several people write me and tell me that they are participating in that prayer effort. I've also heard from many people that there are many people being saved, people finding new life in Christ. To God we give all the glory and we thank everyone who's been praying. God is working in answer to our prayers. I'm coming to you today with another opportunity to pray. As you may well know, on June 30th through July 2nd, we will meet in Portland, Oregon for our 2018 General Conference. This will be a special meeting. We will be celebrating our 50th anniversary as a denomination. However, for this meeting to be truly special, we need the overwhelming presence of God. We want God to come and ignite the fires of a Holy Spirit-led revival which will spread across our denomination. Prayer is essential for this to happen. Therefore, I'm calling on our denomination to pray together for 40 days leading up to General Conference. Beginning on May 21st, we will pray daily for these meetings. There will be a pr daily prayer emphasis we will provide each church with bulletin inserts with those prayer themes. You can also see them on our website at theevangelicalchurch.org or you can check them out on our Facebook page at The Evangelical Church. In Psalm 85, the psalmist prayed, Won't you revive us again so your people may rejoice in you? Show us your loving kindness, O Lord, and grant us your great salvation. Will you join together to pray for 40 days for our general conference that God will ignite a spirit of revival that will spread across our denomination and beyond. Thank you and may God grant us a great harvest.